we recently just got the warpless unofficial world record. That's what the U stands for in the title. I'm, I'm sure some of you are wondering, like, what does UWR mean? It pretty much stands for unofficial world record. There is no difference between early hammer and non-early hammer world record. There's only one world record. But I'd be lying if I said everyone didn't actually look at those things as different kind of runs. You have early hammer, non-early hammer. But the run that I submitted is the fastest non-early hammer uh, warpless run um, that beats the world record by eight seconds, I think it is. Eight, eight seconds or something. A little under eight, maybe. And um, what's really cool about that is that my run before that for non-early hammer was a 52 or 5102. So I had not actually gotten a sub-51 uh, non-early hammer run, and getting that was a really big accomplishment for me. So I have the early hammer run at a 5036, and then I have the non-early hammer run at a 5049 and what's even more interesting with the 5102 to the 5149 that's like a 13 or 14 uh second uh pb for me actually within that category so with that being said i am now moving on to 100 percent, and i've been thinking about a lot of things in 100 percent um different routes and different strategies some that i've actually came up with during the warpless grind that none of you have seen yet because I haven't been making any videos on it because I hadn't even touched 100%, but now I'm coming to 100%. We got to go for the 69, which is uh, sub 110. Um, we're three and a half seconds, four seconds away from that. So um, I'm very excited to get that going. But what we're going to do first is we're going to actually watch and react to the 100% task, which is ooh, five and a half minutes almost looks like seconds faster. Yeah, about five and a half minutes faster than uh the world record so what <laughs> so let's watch and react and see what happens and, and let's see if we can pick let's see if we can pick anything out from it okay all right let's dive right in Whee! Okay, so just started. He, he's already going. I wanted to check the volumes and stuff, but I think having the volume not actually too loud for you guys will be really good um, so that I can talk. There, I'm going to move my camera a little bit down right here because there are things that the, t the, the tasters do talk about in the top, but we're RTA runners, so some of that information isn't actually all that helpful to us. Some of it is, but some of it isn't. So let's go ahead and uh, we'll start it over again. Uh, we are going to skip the majority of the auto-scrollers because uh, we don't really need to watch all those. So let's go ahead. Ness, Super Mario Brothers 3, 100% by Lord Tom and Tompa. If you guys want a link to this video, it'll be in the description below. Um, also, falling through the block sometimes saves frames. There you go. So we've already seen a good amount of this standard procedure of tasks um, in Warpless. They do the same thing. And as you saw, Mario started kicking his feet right before he touched the car. That's because they did too many frame-perfect jumps. Uh, when Mario does frame-perfect jumps, the game actually doesn't fully register you on the ground. So if you do that four or five times, the game still thinks you're in the air. And when it when it does that, it takes your P-speed away. So the backwards duck slide, very cool. We all love the way that looks. I could, I could, I could find a way to do that in a run, but the only problem with that is that it's, it's, you have to be frame perfect for it to work, and that's just not gonna happen. So let's see what he does here. Standard stuff, clip through the blocks, so he can get his, the frame boosts. Pretty normal stuff, there's nothing I can really take from this. Um, we will try and skip the majority of auto-scrollers, but I'm gonna use auto-scrollers as an opportunity to kind of talk about things, and... Um, one for auto scroll is really cool. There's actually a huge meme going around with this level lately. I've, I've been seeing it everywhere, all over the internet. Lots of meme videos. It's kind of funny. Uh, it has something to do with watching this level and having anxiety combined. And it's like those two would not go together because this. Look at what's going on. It, it's so crazy. It gets even crazier when he grabs the um, the tail. So one thing I want to note on while we're in the auto scroller is that the, there's nothing that I could do in this level that would actually save me time. I'm sorry, there's really not much. And to address the one-two slide speed, 
even if I did do it, it wouldn't save enough time of how difficult it would be. Uh, the biggest problem is you have to keep doing single frame jumps in 1-2 for the slide strat, the swag slide strat, uh, to keep your P speed. Or sorry, to keep your speed, the slide speed. It just wouldn't... It wouldn't really help. It wouldn't save any time. That's why it's not even an oversight, like how Warpless' um, music box was a big oversight. Nothing like that. Oh, that's so cool. All the 1-ups. Very, very cool. Okay, so in the 100% run, we would be here at the, you know, with the exact same things. We got our tail. Um, we got everything. So there's a quick P-speed here done. Boom, right there. You see how it runs off and then the P-speed gets taken away. Doesn't fully build it. I have attempted that. I have tried it. It does not work very well. It's very frame dependent on the, um, the P-meter. And again, the stress and struggle of it barely ever working wouldn't save any time. All right, the most we almost got this hammer brother movement like five times today and every time it kept moving down and what you can do is you can grab your fire flower much earlier um allowing you to eliminate the hammer brother two levels earlier and you get their fire flowers so it's pretty good and uh yep i would do the same thing with the fire flower mario and then get your mfp tunnels out there we go there you go very very cool so so far nothing's really changed world one doesn't have um, a doorway for us of trying any new strategies here. One six, having fire flower with a faster P speed. I have tried to get that before. Maybe I could revisit that, uh, try it one more time. Maybe after doing warpless, I have a greater understanding of trying to get early P speed because getting early P speed there would actually be a second or two faster, right? And a hundred percent allows for that because I have the fire flower. So I think that's the first, that's number one thing. I think we are actually going to take that and try and break that down uh, for RTA because that would be a, a magnificent time save. Oh, the king has been transformed. Poor guy. Poor guy. We'll save you though. We'll save you. We just have to jump around like a mad lad for a while and go crazy here. Uh, World 1 airship. Uh, I, think, I think we can fast forward this guy. We'll do our little five second... Oh, the clip there, the clip. The clip is something that I want to bring back. I can do this. I have done this before. It's actually not that hard. The only reason why I don't do it in runs is because it does actively change. Oh, that's so cool. It does actively change the boss pattern. And with the boss pattern changed, I have to learn all these different ways of fighting the boss. So, so two things that we can actually bring to 100%. From Warpless that are RTA viable. We could do the off-screen wand grab, but the boss, when he's spinning, you see that Mario jumped and got like launched. He got like propelled off the boss into the wall. It's not always consistent which direction he throws you in. So you'd actually lose a lot of time going for it and getting bad RNG, I guess, with the boss. And then even if you did get good RNG, I mean you have to get the wall clip. Alright, so. Normal, normal 2-1, there's nothing here that we would really actually actively need to take from it to really save a lot of frames. A lot of block clipping there. Uh, I'm pretty sure the task does a little slow down there so that uh, he gets specific Hammer Brother movements. Nothing that I would ever be able to do that would really help me. Alright, 2-2, two, two. so it's going to do the P speed. I'm sure you guys have seen me do this in runs before, this is definitely something I can do. Uh, however, it's slight RNG and difficulty. It... I really don't think there's that much RNG. I think it has a lot more to do with the sub-pixel that Mario enters the level on, right? More sub-pixels. Um, but it takes about five minutes to get here, and I think that's a really annoying reset for a trick that's not worth it. And now this. We saw this. We saw this in the warpless task, right? This is We can't do this. Or maybe, I don't think, no, we didn't see this in the Warpless task. Okay, I have done this and I have tried this. No, thank you. It does work. I have, you know, I've gotten it. But my biggest hurdle of doing this is actually not the clips or any of this. It's the next level. Also, if I use a P-Wing here, I don't have a P-Wing for 3-5. So that's actually the biggest reason I had forgotten about that. There, There's a reason why we use our P-Wing in 3-5. Uh, so we only have one P-Wing at that point. So we actually, because we're not Tassers, we can't do 3-5 the same way. And you'll see it when we get there. 
but as well as this. So... I've done this before, but grabbing that block, like, taking the damage there too is, isn't even that bad, but it's grabbing that block, um, or grabbing that shell optimally without losing P-Speed, it's so hard. Right? You guys have never seen that in any RTA speedrun or world record. Like, that, th that, those strategies are so cool. Just, sadly, it's just beyond that RTA pass, right? And it doesn't even save that much time. Very cool early P speed there for the sun. I really, really want to go back and take a look at the sun and see if there's uh, something. But I really don't feel like... Like, if we go back here for a sec, we do... Let me slow it down for a sec there, guys, and we can see... So, what the stutter step is, for anyone who doesn't know, and it's going to be nice to have a little breakdown here, but what happens is that every, like, seven or eight frames, I don't remember exactly, um, every seven or eight frames, the game checks to see if you're building speed, and when the game sees that you're on the ground and you're accelerating, the game's like, okay, build a P-meter arrow. Seven or eight frames later, okay, build a P-meter arrow. But there's a thing where if you do a tur one turn back, the game doesn't count that frame. So you can actually build your P-Speed in a smaller distance by turning around and turning back. And you build your arrows faster. So let's take a look at the P-Meter at what he does here. So he jumps, right? So he builds one arrow, two arrow. You see how he did a little turn back there? We got to go back quick. It's so fast, guys. Right? So he builds one arrow. Right? And he does a quick turn back on the frame that's about to build an arrow, I bet. Right? Yeah, there it is. And then he's going to do another turn back, right? So that he makes a smaller distance, but builds the same amount of frames. Builds the P-meter instantly. Right? Builds another arrow. Runs down the hill. Jumps. So the reason he did a turn back in that small area is so that he built the second last arrow. Second last arrow right... Right there. You see how that arrow is built? Right at the last inch there right at the last spot you you don't have enough room to build that that's why he does the turn back so that's kind of what we're gonna have to look at and see if there's any kind of manipulations or anything that i can do there sorry if that wasn't the best explanation but i'm kind of just like giving you guys an authentic watch uh playthrough and trying to explain as much as i can the boob sun look out the cleavage sun the sun is scary that's right There you go. So they say the delay was for the Hammer Brother movement to get a good Hammer Brother movement right there. So that's really good. Very cool P-Meter strategy. It builds it much earlier than RTA. This is another level uh, that I can actually go back and look at. So there's a couple little trinkets here and there. Like so much that we can go back and uh, take a look. So the P-Meter was built much earlier in this level. Very beautiful Hammer Brother movements. Nice. He gets that. So the chest won't appear until all the things are off the screen, including the boomerangs. So the task got the guy to th throw the second boomerang, which would cause more time, but to the right. So it went off screen fast. It's kind of silly. It's a little thing. Very nice movements. Do a little corner boost, little corner cuts. He's going for the optimal uh, hammer brother movements here. There's nothing in this level that we could really take. Oh, the menuing is so sexy. Spoil alert! Oh no, guys, you now know. Yep, alright, here we go. Optimal map movements. Ah, I wish we could do it like that, but it's just... There's no... There's no time save there, right? So, I know how to get P-meter early in this level, but there's there's no actual... Right? So, right here, that had to be a frame-perfect jump. Then another frame-perfect jump right here. And then, of course, that jump's got to be good to keep the, the speed. So, it's... That is, um... It's a trick, guys. It's a trick. You think, you think it's like, oh my god, if I get a P meter right away in the pyramid, I'm gonna be faster. But like, it's, it just, it doesn't work. As you guys saw with the sun level, how crazy the P meter plays an effect on these levels. Then you must know that getting that P speed and then doing it like a tr like a double frame perfect to keep P speed, 
um, to save you like frames, right? I mean, we do the same thing to grab that shell. There's no time save there because you got to do a turn back and grab the shell and then jump over. And then that's the only time save from that spot until when I build P-Speed is the only real time save. All right, so let's go ahead and fast forward this. What does the task say here? Sorry, everyone. Magic. Oh, because he's going, because <laughs> he's going right through the uh, the wrenches. All right, optimal fire kill, and then off screen one grab. Nice. God, I love the off screen one grab. We 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 are getting some in our hundred percent runs, uh, which is good. Always getting the unofficial world record, the one that I just posted. If, um, well, I guess if you're watching this, it would be a couple days ago. It has an off-screen wand grab in it, which is incredible. It helps the time so much. It's about a four-second time save right there, grabbing that wand off-screen. Um, quick quick um, understanding of how it works is that Mario will fall off the screen after he grabs the wand and because the bottom and the top screen wrap on the NES. Because I'm at the top, the game thinks I'm at the bottom. So instantly, it warps me and then it goes right to the king. And that's why it saves time. Mario doesn't have to fall all the way down to hit the trigger. Nice. Gets corner boost. He gets right in there. There's nothing, nothing I could use to take from this. Uh, for anyone wondering, when you do run on the ground and you do those turnbacks to optimize your running and building P-meter, it is slower than just running straight forward and building your arrows as fast as possible. I did look into this level to do it faster. That's right. There is a faster method to doing this level that I might be able to introduce in 100%. You guys haven't seen it yet. I've been working on it um, in my spare time, trying to get it to work smooth. But I did finally, after like six years, learn how to do this level, RTA, without holding left at the start. So hopefully we can see some magic here. Uh, let's see, is there anything here? I don't, there couldn't be anything. All right, the corner, the corner block boosts. God, that's so scary to do, man. Taking the underside and then, ugh, the water, man. I'm sure a lot of you watch my speedruns and you guys know that, you know, for consistency, like, there's really not a lot that we can really toy with because sometimes things just don't work out. I know, I know, door three. I know, big time save. Look at that, he even gets the jump. It's two frames. He got the jump and the up on the same frame. Must be nice. Mr. Tassers, must be nice. You love to see it, you guys. You love to see it. Door three, you know, I should be bringing back into runs. Those are juicy time saves, no matter how you dice it. Off-screen wand grabs, door threes, Jesus clips. Nice. He got, so he stomped on the Hammer Brother rather than bonked them from below. Saves a little bit of time there. Uh, not That's too risky for RTA runners. So this is it right here. We don't do this. Boom. You see that? We could, but then P speed, right? What? I don't think so. Come on, guys. Right? So even if I use the P wing in World 2 to do all the wall clips and the crazy movements, that time save versus doing this and then doing the wall jump, it is it is time saves, but it's just not even worth it for RTA, right? Like, the amount of stress and how unlikely it would happen, it's it's literally like a couple seconds save. So, it's just not likely. Alright, doing the hill speed. This is totally something that we could do uh, to save frames. But again, just like 1-2, uh, once we get the slide speed, we actually have to um, not miss our A presses so that we don't lose any speed. Alright, next auto-scroller. And you guys know how we treat auto-scrollers in these parts. Oh, that's so silly. I'm so glad we stopped there. That's hilarious. Oh my god. And then the click clipping of the block. <laughs> what? The shells? That's so cool. Wow. The midair. Oh my gosh. The midair shell jumps. Totally not needed. The juggles. Oh my gosh. Uh, it's so crazy what is what's possible in these games. It drives me nuts, but like we like humans can simply just not play like this. 
<laughs> so he waited enough time for the pipe so that he could keep the peace speed uh, even as he fell through where RTA runners we walk across the pipe and we we sacrifice like two P meter arrows but it, what we do is still faster than entering without any arrows so it's good okay he's uh eliminating leg I don't think so probably didn't get lag frames there because they're awesome uh, but unfortunately we we have to experience lag frames because even if we cause some lag frames as soon as we start shooting the fireballs to eliminate the the enemies oh i love that super swim so what you do is you hit the corner and you press down and then as mario falls into the water he stands up so he goes right into swimming and the clip into the block yeah right there that clip right there you just saw it um, you actually do get frame boost right here. So he's going to swim up right into the corner, kind of just like 7-1, like how we stand and jump into the clip right there. You see that? And it's going to boost him up. Boom, right there. Uh, I have tried that. Um, it is actually pretty frame perfect. Uh, if you don't do it correctly, Mario actually comes to a dead stop. So it's, you have a choice. Do you save a couple frames or do you lose a couple seconds? Those are your options. So... So what do we have so far? Just simply level strats that we can take. We can take another look at 1-6. We can do the clip on the airship. Uh, and we can take a look at 2-5. Uh, and that's really all we have so far. I've already been looking at 3-2. And this, I want to do this, but it's impossible. Let me take a look at that. Maybe it's not. So what exactly does he do here? Okay. So he does a wide jump, which is totally possible. This first jump is totally possible. The only thing he's doing here is utilizing as much as the... You guys can see by... As much as the platform. He wants to land here, I'm guessing. Yeah, pretty much, right? So then he runs. He does a quick turn back. After... Was it after he builds the arrow? Let's take a look. He does the turn back after he lands so that he can get... Oh, it's too slow. Hold on, I have to let it play. I have to let it load. Okay. How many arrows does he build? Does three turnbacks and then one of those wide turnbacks. And then, oh my gosh, that frame. Look at this right here. I'm going to pause it. This is incredible. Look at this. You're barely even landing on it. Look at, oh my gosh. Okay. Well, that's your last arrow. I don't think so. And then you have to do frame perfect jumps to get through there. All right. Well, there you go. Just broke it down for you guys. Not doing it. Maybe in another 10 years. But that is a big time save. That is such a big time save. God, man, if we could do that, that would easily be like four seconds, right? <laughs> easily. Okay. Um, so I don't think there's really any time saves here. Pretty standard stuff. And like I said before, doing the turnbacks to get more distance or utilize more ground to build P-Speed in a smaller area... That's not the most optimal way to build P-Speed. Just simply running forward and letting the P-Meters build based on, you know, your acceleration is the fastest way to do it. So these, so the, the Tool Assisted Speedrunner does lose frames doing those turnbacks, but the payoff is incredible, right? Because you get P-Speed in places where you wouldn't normally think is possible. And it's, they do that by utilizing the frame rules and stuff. All right. Okay, World 3 Airship. We're getting some we're getting some juicy info here on what to do. Watch this fire kill. I might actually start changing my Wendy fire kill because it would be faster to to rush rush her, right? Shoot, stomp, stomp, shoot. And if I'm gonna stomp her, I mean I might as well go for the off-screen wand grab. Why not? Dude, imagine getting an off-screen wand grab in world three. Right? So the reason the the reason the tasser has to use the boss right here, right here, is because. If you simply just jump from the ground here into the wall as high as you possibly can and do a wall jump, you won't make it up top there. So levels like this one and World 1, you have to use the, the boss here. You have to use the boss. Same with World 6. So if you guys watch my runs and you wonder why I'm not doing off-screen wand grabs for Worlds 1, 3, and 7, or 6, 1, 3, and 6, it's because the ground is too low. Cool. Um, and the other thing too that a lot of people don't notice is that there's a ledge for you to stand on up there. So once you're up there, you can just stand and wait and you time it out and then you jump right in the center of the screen for the wand and then you'll grab it like that. Very cool. 
All right, so 4-1. Oh, uh, for any of you who watch my stream regularly, you guys would know that I'm actually already implementing this P-meter strategy in my runs. I did learn this right here. Not the exact same way, but I learned my own method of getting it. So I do get P-speed much earlier in this level. Very difficult. Sometimes I go for it, sometimes I don't. But this would have been something that I would have taken. Um, and I'm very happy with the strategy. The way I normally do this level is I grab the shell and, da and damage the shells together so I get P-speed. Uh, which is not the most optimal, but is very consistent for me. Doing that versus what my new strat is, is over a second time save for me. Um, so that's very good. And it's about 1.4 uh, second time save for me. And I have tried this early P-speed. Not even close. That is... That's not even save it for a rainy day. I, I can't even get it. It's so difficult. Alright, optimal hammer brother movements. Very nice. Oh, get shot. Alright, right in there. Keep the P-speed. Nice. Nice, all the swag. Utilizing all the hills for the boost frames. Really good. And as you guys see, this level pretty much looks exactly like how uh, you see it in the runs. So, very good. Now, the next level, you're going to see the very last Thwomp. And uh, for RTA Runner, I like to call it Thwomp Skip. It is... It is a time save. It, it's a solid point, you know, 0.23 time save, which, you know, we take all we can get. But it's not worth it in RTA run right here. That jump in front of the Thwomp, it's so difficult. Um, and in my opinion, it is worth it, but I'm not consistent enough at it, or else I would do it. And all it is is just a well-timed duck jump. It's really not difficult to do. It's just the consistency on it right now is a little too low for me, but I think we could start seeing it. Pretty normal, except this. Boom, the double shoot jump. Really good. Little time save right there. Really cool. Yep, then you do the duck thing, just like you saw in the second fortress in World 3. Yeah, nice try, Lakitu. Get out of here, Lakitu. Always ruin our speedruns. If you lose Fire Flower in this level, the run, like, losing Fire Flower here, I swear, is like, it's like a 10 second timeline. It's horrible. It is a nightmare. Right? And when you're running up against splits that don't make a mistake in this world, it's so it's so hard to deal with. Look at that. Oh, the double. Do does it do they still do the sound or action of movement of one here? No, that's so cool. Right on. He he just said, yeah, I save about 30 frames. It's the only place in the run where it's practical. That's pretty cool. Beep, beep, beep. Nice. These fireball shots were so awkward. If if I could do this level without doing a turn back, I would do it once, record it, put it on YouTube, and that's it. But doing this level without a turn back would be so incredibly difficult. Alright, soon the fortress. See that? See how he utilized all the space? Crazy. You guys want to, you guys want, that is the perfect example of understanding how the turnbacks work by utilizing the space here. Take a look at this, right? Come on, load faster, let's go. So, they're going to do a turnback after every, like, seven frames to utilize one pixel of movement, right? Watch. <laughs> it's, it's so cool, isn't it? All right, now let's watch it at full speed. Crazy, right? That so that is the stutter step that everyone talks about that we when we refer back to the tasks about stutter stepping and being impossible. Unless I knew, you know, and I I can't remember exactly if it's the seventh or the eighth or maybe it's like you know whatever frame it is. I would have to know exactly that frame every cycle of each p meter arrow. So I would have to do, and I'd also have to do a single frame turn back and turn back forward. So I, ha I would have to know which frame I'm on, which I can't, and I would have to do, what, I, what is this, five single frame turnbacks? And, and, oh, all right. Very hard. Let's go. <laughs> it's so stupid when you watch it faster. It's like, what? Right? When you listen to it in slow-mo, you're like, okay, 
do, 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 do. Just try and keep timing, right? Maybe add a metronome for practice, see how well it goes. And then you hear it fast. Get out of here. Get out of here. Impossible. All right, so I already have a P-Speed strategy for this level that I actually developed myself, um, which is actually faster than this, I'm quite sure. So I'm pretty sure the task will use a closer rendition if a new task is made. Um, and it's not like, oh, your strat's faster, like you're better than tasks. It's like, you have to remember, tool assisted speedrunners are still human, so whatever they think is possible, or know what's possible within the game's code, that's all that they can execute. I mean, you know, if they didn't realize, oh, I can build it late, a little bit later in the level, but I can do it without doing all these big turnbacks, then yeah. So, and honestly, I don't even know if they if they could do it faster. Oh God, this is what I love about watching playbacks. See you later, man. We're out of here. No way we're watching this. All right, so um, I also already do off-screen one grab in this level. Nice. And the double shots, like the spreads. That's so cool. Alright, 5-1. So, I think this P-Speed is the same P-Speed that we saw in the Warp List. That yes, it is. Unless, does he do the clip? Nope, no clip. Uh, the reason for no clip is because the box is not needed for 100%. That is why. Answered question right there. So, you want to keep the flower. The flower is much better. Very cool. Yep. Yeah. Oh, the wall jump. That's so cool. I wish I could do that wall jump. The stress of landing that wall jump is much, much more difficult um, than actually executing it and thinking you're going to save a whole bunch of time. You're not going to save that much time doing it. So it's, it's really not worth it. I've never even tried it before because I know I can do it. It's a wall jump, right? But it's not going to save me any time. So it's not worth it, unfortunately. So, uh, all movements of one must be so nice. I wish. I wish. Beep, beep. All right, this jump right here does save a little bit of time, but if you mess that jump up, you die. So it's really not worth it. You save like 0.2 if you get it. Like not even 0.2. So those little time saves are not worth it. Now, if I do that little time save and like four of the other time saves that I say are not worth it, I mean, it's adding up, right? All right, 5-3. I don't think... There's a little bit of P-meter... Look, at build that one arrow. Oh, it's useless. Okay. <sighs> barely save... Barely saves any time on RTA here. Barely saves any time. But they got rid of the lag, and they were able to do a much better jump without a turn back. Sorry, Goombashu. Very nice. Now, the Tasser doesn't have to jump into... Uh, the horizontal pipes because they can do a perfect frame perfect jump uh, out of the pipe which means they don't have to buffer any they don't have to store their p meter they can just run into the pipe which for them would be faster and another stomp kill which very risky for us i think i might look into doing uh, a certain stomp kill in world three mainly because if i lose my fire flower it's not a problem but it would have to be before um, world. It would have to be after the fortress, bef but before 3-5. Ah, uh, because he gets those block clips, he can cleanly get through this area without a star and without doing any turnbacks. Unfortunately, RTA runners can't. Uh, we do have a method in this level where we can kind of do it, but again, the, the, it's so stressful for the amount of time it saves. It's, it's not worth it. Right? We're dealing with, like, anything between, uh, point one to like one second with some of these time saves and that's why we don't really deem them worth it the stress right it's bad enough getting the good hammer brother rng but like keeping peace speed here is just so silly because you have to wait for the beanstalk that's one of the yes you can use these platforms to boost your speed to the highest speed in the entire game um and then you have to continuously frame perfect jump uh to get it Yep, so there it is. Very good. Uh, that's not so. They're very sporadic, the flippers like that. Um, so you can jump into one and it'll launch you into the ground. And there's no ground there, so it'd be the pit and you'd die. 
So RTA runners don't save those frames. Like, literal frames would be saved from that. Nice, clip through the blocks. Pretty standard level. I've recently, well, I mean, when I was doing 100% before, I learned uh, how to do this level building piece speed without doing a turn back, so it's pretty good. All right, movement of three. Which I guess I guess that's all the task could have done for the for the time being. I mean they could only do the movement of three. Nice, another auto scroller. <laughs> Very funny. I love these beetles so much, guys. These beetles are so silly in the game. But silly or not, we gotta skip the auto scroller. Alright. Back into the action. The shoot right away. The turn back list, and then pretty good to go. Going for some of these block... Yeah, the block skips right through. It's crazy how often the task gets these block clips without having to do a turn back. I was led to believe that it's, like, so precise with certain subpixels that based on your position, like, you can't even get it even if you get the right subpixels. Boom. <laughs> yeah! Let's go! We need this. That's right, it doesn't save much time. For RTA, this saves about, you know, 2.9, maybe 3 seconds, maybe 3.1. Depends on how fast you kill this guy. Lots of options, lots of variances. Alright, this level gets peace speed early here, which is very nice on the second platform. Probably one of the simplest levels in the game. You got that right. Um, the task makes it look more complicated than it is. You literally just run forward, build P-Speed, and jump one platform to the next. And then your last jump at the end is a duck jump so you don't take damage, and then you run right into the pipe. Easy. Very easy. Another trolley auto-scroller. Uh. Uh. Right? And then we have... Another auto scroller, so we'll get through here. All right, we'll look at the fire kill. Done. Boom, jump up. Nice, very nice. I love the off screen. So much time saved. Let's see. Off screen one grab, four second a piece for seven worlds. That's how much time just the off screen one grab saved. Incredible. All right, here we go. 100% is really cool because we can do 6-1 and 6-3 and all the uh, six, 6 levels that we don't do. Uh, this is not quite like RTA. We can't really cut all these as close as we'd like. Um, but the task couldn't have saved more than a couple frames over RTA. Uh, so there's really nothing we could take from there. Now he's going to... Oh, auto-scroller first. Let's get through this. I know you guys like watching the, the, the screwing around and stuff, but... We're doing like a kind of reacts to it and see what see what we can kind of get from this here. So uh, let's let's not make this any longer than we have to be. All right, so it does a little weird movement there to knock at the star. Pretty good. Nothing, you know. RTA runners kind of do the same thing here. And uh, also, auto scrollers don't really have time saves for RTA, so there's nothing we can do. We just watch it, and it's just costing us a lot of time. Although I will say, you should go back and watch the auto scrollers if that's your thing. Because they are very fun. Alright, this is a level right here. Look at where he gets P-Speed. I want it. I want to build it there so bad. You know what? I actually never considered when doing this. Was, you see how he's running? And then he does a jump there to not get screwed over. I might actually try that. Okay, so this is another level. We're going to go back. You, I could save like a second here if you build P meter early enough, right? Just, you know, we need, I only need to save four seconds to get the sub 110, right? Four seconds, that's all I need. I do have an extra P wing for this level. What is the purpose of keeping the big Mario though? I don't understand. Few frames saved from previous on star grab, okay. 284. Actually, I guess that's right, is he had P Wing. What is the point in keeping Big Mario though? Oh, I know why. So that yeah, clip. Wait, no, he's No, that's right. 
You guys have seen me do this level. Yep. Yep. Get the boost off the spinners. I'm gonna go really, really fast. Boom. So fast, guys. So unbelievably fast. Uh, so this is actually impossible, as I told you guys, with uh, how the frames work with the P-meter, like knowing which frames to turn back on. So he builds P-speed. That allows him to clip right through. This would save a lot of time if we could do it, but we can't, unfortunately. And there's this there's a ceiling there, so we can't we can't do anything with the ceiling either. Dang it, Nintendo. Nice, so you're gonna wanna get rid of the hammer brothers as fast as possible. Nice, we got the leaf. Thank you, Karua. That's right. All right, so we're going to see no P-Wing here. Oh, that's so cool. So the reason RTA runners can't do this is because we have to jump at some... We have to jump right here. Which means whenever you build your P-Speed with the tail and you have your P-Speed running on the ground, as soon as you jump, the internal clock starts so that you can't fly forever. You know how in Super Mario World you can fly forever and you're like, oh, that sucks. Like you just fly over all the levels. Well, they actually eliminated that in Mario 3 with the tail. So whenever you build P-Speed, you can fly, yes. But as soon as you jump, the little timer starts to take away your flying. Um, but with the TAS here, if you single frame all the grab blocks, they actually don't slow you down. So you can just grab all them as you go. Just like that. So that's the first time he jumped, right? Let's watch it again. He doesn't jump until later. We would jump here and they jump right there. So the timer just started, gets all the speed, and then goes through. Look at when the P-meter stops here. Right there, the P-meter already stops. So that actual distance would be enough for us to make it. But we can't, we can't do seven frame block grabs unfortunately so that is why you don't see us that's why we always have to use a p-wing here so if anyone's like oh mitch use a p-wing somewhere else to save time and then just do that level with the leaf i'd like to but unfortunately i can't ah uh, yes if you stand on the side of donuts they actually don't fall Whee! Okay, we'll get through this level. So, um, I I am actually doing a different time save strat. So let me actually go back. I have already changed the 100% a little bit that you guys will get to see whenever I'm doing runs, which I've already started runs. So I've already displayed the new route that I'm doing is I grab this fire flower and I use that fire flower in the next fortress, which is um, a really, really cool, crazy thing. And what that means is that I can fire kill the boom boom and I don't have to get the Fire Flower in uh, 610, which means I can do 610 faster. So for RTA, that would be a time save. And it's a really, really cool strategy in the Fortress. But the task does not do that. The task uses the P-Wing, which would ultimately be faster. But RTA runners don't have that extra P-Wing because we have to use the P-Wing in the 6-5 um, level, right? As we explained. I would much... I would very much like not to use P-Wing, but unfortunately, I don't have a choice. All right. Very nice stops. So there's already a handful of things that we're going to actually look at and hopefully uh, incorporate in our runs. That would be really cool. And um, a route divergence from TAS and the RTA current runs. So very cool, interesting things. Oh, yeah. It takes damage there to keep P-Speed and then goes... Straight off of the slide strats. Really cool. Boom. 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 Right? All single frame. Except somehow the task is like, whatever. We don't get stars. All right. Very cool. In RTA runs now, I am working on uh, wall jump manipulation now for this. And it has been working for us in runs, which is very cool. Big Mario wall jump is much, much harder than small Mario wall jump. And for the main reason of having extra frames and extra pixels for small Mario, 
where Big Mario does not have any extra frames or pixels or any of that stuff. Everything's all got to be single. So I don't have to do a fire grab here like this or anything because now I enter this level already with fire flowers. So um, quite a good time save for RTA runners right there. Very nice. Yeah. Take a little sip. Back to the run. God, this run is so good, man. This run is so good. Interesting note, conveyor belts don't actually alter your sub pixels. So if you can consistently do this level, you might be able to do this in a run. Although we'd have to use the star because if we do a turn back at the start of the level, we might change our sub pixels. In order to have a sub pixel manipulation of any kind in any level, you would have to do the level consistently the same way every single time, which means no turn backs, no duck jumps, uh, no, no shooting fireballs or hammers on the ground. You'd have to never change Mario's position. And Mario's position or, you know, acceleration could change based on doing turn backs, duck jumps, all that, all that fun stuff. So it's very interesting that conveyor belts don't change Mario's subpixel. Like even the even the conveyor belts that go the opposite of Mario, like Mario's running, conveyor belts going this way, and Mario's going slower, you can visually see that the conveyor belt's slowing him down. It doesn't it still doesn't change your subpixel, which makes no sense because like it should, right? It's it's weird it doesn't. All right, all the silly jumping around. So this is going to be another good example of how off-screen wand grabs work with the low floor. All right, you can see he's going to get some boss kills. He's going to wait, get a jump off, and then go. Crazy. Crazy. I can. I have to stomp on him to finish the kill. I can't actually do the kill and then stomp on him and kill him. So he does... Two, four, six, eight, and then jump. I do two, four, six. Maybe I should turn left. Like when I rush him, I do six, and then I stop and do two, and then do two more. Maybe I should rush him, do my normal six, turn left, shoot him one more time, turn right. I, you know what? I'm gonna look at that one too. I have done something similar, but I used the bouncy balls to get the off screen wall grab, not his actual head. Very interesting. And there might actually be a position that he'll be on that whenever you stomp on him, that it just lines you right up to where the wall is. That's very exciting. Maybe we could take that. Warpless, you don't have Fire Flower here, so it wouldn't work. <laughs> you guys know about the subpixel manipulation. Not impressed. Not impressed. We can do that. Also, you guys have seen me do Fast 7-2. Fast 7-2 is... Definitely in speedruns now, so not impressed, passers. Not impressed with these levels. Although, watch this P-Speed. Okay, I can't get P-Speed like that. But, I get it my own way, right? I get it my own way that works. That is faster than normal, right? Oh, that's such a good time save. When you see me not do that in a level, that's like legitimate like 0.3 time loss. I'm not even kidding you. Okay, I might be kidding that's a point three. I can't remember exactly, but I do remember that it is a very big time difference. And when you're talking about something as falling and going into a pipe and falling in the ground and jumping into the pipe, yeah, point two is a big time difference because, I mean, it's, it's the smallest section in a run. So this is another level. Like, utilizing hill speed is always faster than P speed, right? Because hill speed can go faster than P speed. Uh, but again, in order of, like, how, what was that like? 11 frame perfect jumps right there. Next time. What is this? Paper Mario 64? Very cool level using a P Wing here. So unfortunately, more clips. We're not we're not down for the clips, guys. Right? We don't. Right? We don't want to do this. It's just way too much. Uh with RTA, we could totally do this, right? It, and that saved so many pipe transitions. Like, it's crazy. Like, you think, oh, a 281. No, that was actually like a 296 with, like, all the pipe transitions skipped. Like, so many seconds there skipped. Okay, so let me explain something that you guys uh, probably don't know. Okay, so this level... 
If you do the 7-7 seven, seven clip or clip into the pipe right here, as you can see with the mouse, it will take you to this section right here, right? You'll clip through the wall and you'll be right here and you'll be, you won't be soft locked, but you can't go anywhere from here. There's nowhere you can go. That's why, that's why we don't clip this level like 7-7, seven, seven, okay? But this level at the very top here, at the very top has a ceiling and then obviously the wall, right? Just like a 90 degree ceiling and wall. That's why we can't P-wing over it. But the little section right here, right at the top here, the little section has, uh, it has a couple blocks flat and then like two blocks risen like that or three and then lower spot has the three blocks flat. So what the task does is lands right on the top, right on the top little runway runs to get p-speed jumps over the two tile uh risen section right so it's like three flat two high then three flat right so you have to run jump over it run again and by doing that you have to get the perfect amount of speed you have to have the perfect position the perfect sub pixel and do this while you can't see you can't see what's going on if you did this rta and you get the duck and then you get the corner clip and that's how you skip 7-4. That's exactly what we'd have to do. Doing all of that while you can see, I still haven't done yet. I created, or I don't know if, I can't remember if I created it, but I, I would know how it is. Very easy. I modify the level so that uh, the level scrolls up when flying so we can see what's going on, and I still couldn't get it. The speed, the problem is the speed. When you're flying with the tail, Mario loses uh, like two knots of speed every couple frames or something. So Mario's always slowing down when he's flying until he gets to a certain point, and then he has that base speed. Oh, that troll death. Sorry, I don't mean to talk over this, but um, yeah, it's uh, that's that's why we don't do that. Hey, hey, at least with Carpetless in Mario 64, at least you can see what you're doing, right? I know, I should take my own words of advice. I always say Carpetless is a thing, like, it's totally, somebody will do it eventually. So it's like, I should learn to apply that to my own game, right? So the last two levels, pretty standard. There's really nothing we can change. Piranha Plant is whatever. And then this level is very basic. And then in 100%, in we don't have to clip here because we have the P-Wing. That Piranha Plant gives us a P-Wing. So, I mean, we might as well use it. I'm not sure why the task doesn't use the P-Wing there. If only it was that easy, you guys. If only that it was that easy. Oh wait, I think the task did use the P-Wing. He used the P-Wing on the, uh, the... Yeah. Sorry about that, he did. On the fortress. So I have actually changed... Uh, the way I do the end of World 7. Very cool. This level looks so cool when done properly because there's so much going on. Oh, that's so hard to do, you guys. That's so hard, that duck jump. And then right through between two fires. I've actually done that quite a bit. It's, it's pretty cool. I wouldn't rely on it in a run, though. So I've actually changed how I've done my World 7 in 100%. I've changed it from the task and I've changed it from RTA. I actually plan on bringing the hammer suit back to 100%. Um, according to my studies, the hammer suit is actually now faster in 100% because I go for the 7-9 clips. Now, try and, try and pay attention here. I'm going to quickly explain how this one section here works in Warpless, okay, or in 100%. So you come out of the pipe. The first thing you do is this level right here, okay? You do this level. Um, every RTA runner beats this level right here with a P-Wing. So when you, exit this, when you exit the pipe, you have the tail. Okay, now every runner, including myself and in the world record, you would do this level just like how the task did. You take damage, right? You get through the level, you have big Mario, you take big Mario, you go and do 7-7, seven, seven, right? Then you do 7-9 with a P-Wing, and when you do the P-Wing, you fly all the way up in 7-9, and you run across and you do 7-9 normally. You grab Fire Flower at the end, and then you get out of the level, and then you do Fire Flower in the Fortress and the Piranha Plant, you guys have seen it before, and then you finish. What I plan on doing is I will do 7-8 normal with the tail, but grab hammer suit so I lose like 6 or 7 seconds. Then I'm going to do 7-7, so we're still on normal run. 
But then I'm going to use a cloud and I'm going to skip 7 9. And then I'm going to do the fortress. Okay. So I'm going to beat the fortress with the hammer suit, save a little bit of time, right? With the hammers. Very nice. The hammer kill. And then I can save a bit of time, hopefully, in the piranha plant stage with the hammer suit, get peace speed a little earlier. I have to work on it. But the cool thing with this route now is that when I grab the chest from the piranha plant, I can do the, the sub pixel manipulation. And I can beat that level with a high subpixel value. Then I can go back to 7-9 and I can do the clips. And the clips aren't done in the 100% run. The reason the clips aren't done is because um, you don't grab Fire Flower there. And because you have a P-Wing, you don't need to risk the clips. But doing the clips would save you a lot of time. As you can see, the world record is going to, or the task is going to go for the clips, right? You're going to get the Fire Flower and then go for the clips. It's perfect. So, because I can manipulate my subpixels in the Piranha Plant stage after I grab the chest, that means I can consistently get the first clip in this level. First try. Every time. And I've already displayed that in my runs. Easy. And if I get the first try clip, I have a series of movements that greatly increase my chance based on the multiple oscillating values that we get. I know it's getting a little complicated. I'm not going to overcomplicate it. Um, and that will allow me to... Uh, pretty much, you know, it's not guaranteed, but what is guaranteed is the first clip. The first clip is always guaranteed with the subpixel manipulation. And then I pretty often get the next clips. It's very close, so I'm very excited about that. Um, and also I get Hammer Suit for the rest of World 8, which is really good. Hammer Suit in World 8 means uh, I can save a little bit of time on the boom booms, some frames. Uh, I can get the overkill boom boom in the fortress, which is a big time save. And I can also get uh, Bowser fire, uh, Bowser hammer kill. So it's going to be a very interesting different route that you guys are going to see. So right here in the task, the task isn't really going to help me with these last few levels, unfortunately. So um, there's really not much we can really take from this. We have another long auto scroller. Uh, sadly, we don't get to get the fire kill here. Um, but RTA fire kill here isn't actually even that good. Uh, because anytime you do a fire kill on these bosses where you have to stomp on them to finish the kill, uh, you don't actually utilize the full three seconds time save. It ends up being around the two, two era. So unfortunately, not much. Uh, and then we have auto scrollers, which is pretty cool. Yep. Uh, and then the task. So I can no longer get Wrangless, so that's a little bit of time divergence. But I can do Bowser's Castle uh, basement section, which is possible. So if I'm like... Oh, I'm gonna world record by like one second. I have the opportunity to actually do the basement route in Bowser, which would be very exciting. Okay, so instead of uh, fire killing here, I get to do the uh, hammer kills, which is really good. So there's a new strategy here that we get to use for hand number one that we don't get to do. Like, look at the tasks, man. The fireballs go like right through the tasks, okay? Look at this. Um, so what we can use for rta is a star here and we get to build p speed now which will be a time save over the world record so that's good what he did one duck and then the other one wasn't a duck i need to see this what the heck he's doing turn backs to get p speed earlier and the ducking i don't think so i don't think so all right. Um, and also, which you wouldn't see in Warpless, um, I developed a P-Speed strategy, actually, in Hand 2, which saves... I'm pretty sure it saves a little bit over a second because you do get P-Speed quite early in the level. Uh, I'm pretty sure the task does it. <laughs> no, I don't do it like that. But I do get P-Speed pretty early in the level, which is... Uh, that's actually a pretty big game changer, getting P-Speed in Hand Trap 2. I'm not going to lie. That... It's a pretty big game changer. Uh, I'm glad we reacted and watched this task because there's lots of little things that I can actually go back and uh, take a look at again. Very cool, very cool. <laughs> the clips. Always so much fun. All right, auto schmollers. Auto scrollers are always so boring. Let's say, check out the fire kill. Pretty common, I think.
Very cool, very cool. All right, the best stages of all. I did actually teach myself a faster way of getting, like, I can get P-Speed faster, but it doesn't actually save time. Because I have to do a little, like, wall rub and stuff. It's crazy how this is the fastest version of P-Speed in this level, right? If you go back to the beginning, you got all this runway here, and it just, ah, uh, it's just perfectly enough to screw you over. Also, I don't understand how the Tasser... Let me take one more quick look. I don't understand how the Tasser is able to kill this Piranha Plant before he shoots. Crazy, dude. He was... I swear, that Piranha Plant had to have been one frame away from shooting. Had to have been one frame away from shooting. That's we can't do that in RTA. That's so hard. If you watch the any percent no wrong warp, if you watch the any percent no wrong warp uh, run, you can see that I do a slight little slowdown. Sorry about those clickings. I'm pretty sure it's a part of the video. Sorry about that, guys. All right, so I'm gonna have the sun. I'm gonna have the hammer suit here, so the sun hopefully won't be a problem for me. But according to my numbers, bringing the hammer suit to 100% will actually be a little bit faster. But as soon as you do the Clips RTA with Fire Mario in 100%, Hammer Suit will die, sadly. But we'll see how it goes. Ah, uh, no 1-up. Or no 99, that's unfortunate. Oh, these jumps are so cool. Oh, that's so hard, those jumps. Very nice P-Speed. Oh my gosh. I'd love to be able to do the P-Speed keep, which... Um, it's very possible. I've done it many, many times. It's just so far from ideal in this level. So far from ideal. Oh, that's so hard, man. Getting under that death waffle. <laughs> that conveyor boost, too. Very nice. Last auto scroller. The easiest auto scroller in the game. I think we got a pretty decent fire kill here. And I'm going to guess the Tass obviously does the star, right? Uses the star so that he can do the thwomp section. Yep. Okay, cool. Oh, the weird turn back. They got frames to spare in the castle. Due to a frame rule with Bowser kill. Did you guys forget anything? They did not forget anything. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching my reaction and kind of like, ooh, what kind of strategies uh, can we uh, pick? We kind of like picked uh, some things that we can add in the 100%. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed, but also on top of that, I hope you guys uh, stop by my stream every once in a while to see how I'm doing in the 100% grind. We are going for the sub one hour, 10 minutes, which would be the 69 minute run. That's right. We're going for the 69. Um, and I'd have to say uh, under one hour and 10 minutes for 100% would probably be one of the most iconic and sought out uh, runs of all time for Mario 3. Uh, mainly because a 110 just seemed so impossible a couple years ago. And now with all the new strategies and all the new things coming up, we actually might be able to beat that barrier. It's been in the 110 for so long, you guys. Um, and it would be really nice to, to beat that barrier. So I hope you guys uh, come come by every once in a while and cheer me on and and, and join me with the adventure uh, because we just we just hit a huge goal in Warpless and now I want to do it again with 100%. And, you know, with all the COVID stuff going around, there's nowhere for me to go. So uh, I just grind daily. I constantly keep up with my schedules. And uh, yeah, I look forward to seeing slash hearing from you guys. I'd love to know how you guys are doing as well. So yeah, thanks for watching and uh, woo! let's go.